a lot of the sermons that he preaches preaching on him. Come on. Amen. Listen to me, though. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. When you get truly born again, there's a change that begins to take place in your life. Amen. There's to, I mean, I'm not going to say that you're not going to fall. Amen. I'm not saying that you may slip up into the things that you once did. Amen. But you are not going to desire those things no more. Amen. Those desires of those things will change. Amen. I've seen people get say they're saved. Amen. And never one time quit drinking a beer. Amen. I will, preacher. I don't think drinking a beer is okay. If you can have one beer and that's all you can have and that's whatever you do, you and God, brother. But I'm going to tell you this. The Bible says no drunk is going to enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen. So you better not be getting drunk. Amen. You better not be drinking and saying, well, I believe God's drunk, turned wine. Jesus turned drink wine and the blood, blood. I mean, you hear all kinds of things under the sun to clarify that says it's okay to do this and it's okay to do that. But I'm going to hear it tell you today. Amen. I don't care if it uplifts the devil. Amen. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up people who say in that they can hear from God by smoking marijuana. That's the biggest, fattest lie straight from the pits of hell. And I rebuke that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There's so many mockeries out there. People mocking who God is. Mocking who God is. Somebody listen to me. Amen. God said it many times in the word of God that he will not be mocked. Amen. Don't be shocked. Amen. When the wrath of God starts beginning to pour out on this world. Amen. He's going to deal with those who are wicked, those who are mocking him. Amen. You say, preacher, how do you know? It's right here in the word of God. It tells you he changes not. Amen. Let's go back in the history of how many times, amen, the men dropped dead for mocking God. You better be careful when it comes to mocking who God is. You better be careful for those who say that they're hearing from the Lord. Amen. And you say, thou says the Lord. You better hope and pray to God that just says, thou says the Lord. Because I've been posting Bible verses warning some of you, amen, on Facebook. I'm not saying you're doing it, but you're watching people that are doing it. Amen. You better be careful when somebody says, thou says the Lord. Jesus said, oh, listen, church, you can go back on my Facebook and look at the pre uh, things. Jesus said that he, he don't take very kind to those who steal his words. Uh no, he, he, he said that not to use his words. So don't take things that maybe Jesus said here in prophecy and say that it comes from you. You see, I'm going to tell you, there's many preachers or prophets. You want to know a false prophet? It's those who take Bible verses. I can do I could do this if I wanted to do it. But I believe me, I'm too scared to do it. I know I'm not going to tempt my God. Amen. But you can take Bible verses and go here, there, here, and here of a prophecy. Flip over a couple more pages, get a couple more things of prophecy. Flip over here and get a couple more prophecies, and then put it all together and say, Thou said the Lord. Yeah, the Lord said it. It's in the Word of God. But did He speak it to you to say it? Huh? Pin drop. Did He say, Thou said the Lord through you? That's where you better be careful about. Better be careful about saying you're having dreams and visions and things of that nature. Amen. And you better hope that you really have those things. I'm not talking to anybody in general. Amen. I don't know who's doing what. 
I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying in general, this is a warning to the church tonight. Amen. I did not plan this. I didn't even plan to preach at all. We're just going to obey God. Amen. But I'm telling you right now, I'm very, very, very careful to say God said or the Lord told me to say this or the Lord told me to say that. I'm very careful with that because once God showed me that in the word of God, that terrifies me. That terrifies me. You better fear the Lord. You better not fear man, but you better fear the Lord. There's a problem and not many people fear the Lord. But the Bible says, why well, fear the man who can only kill your body? But yet you better fear the one who can kill, destroy your body and your soul. Church, I'm telling you that tonight, we better take heed in the mockery of God. And we better... We better hope and pray that we are what we say we are in Christ. If you're, <clears throat> amen. If you're a prophet of God and you say thou sayest the Lord, I only pray that you are hearing from the Lord. Because if you're not, <laughs> dangerous, very dangerous, very dangerous. And if you say God gave me this dream, amen, and it's, getting, and it's showing me this and it's showing me that, you better pray to God that that dream come from God. Church, because if it didn't, and you, 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 if you're taking any type of glory from God, period, point blank, you're in danger ground. That's all I'm saying to you tonight. I thank God for what we, what I feel in my spirit tonight, Amen. I, I did not, like I said, didn't plan on preaching. I was going to let Sister Donna run with the floor, Amen. Man, but I'm telling you tonight, Church, we we've got to, we've got to be careful in the things we speak, the things we say. Amen. I feel the Lord and he knows the truth. Yeah, you got that right. Amen. Yeah. You fear the Lord and he knows the truth. That's right. That's right. He knows the truth of everything. Amen. There, the Bible says everything that's clo everything that's done behind closed doors will be brought to the light. Amen. I, I, you know, there was a time in my life, church, I know, I, maybe some of you may need this tonight. Amen. And you, those who are ministering, amen, I'm not saying you got to be a preacher, a prophet, or a bishop, but if you're ministering the gospel, amen, you're telling people about God, you're telling people about Jesus, what Jesus done for you, know that people are going to come against you, especially when you're spreading the truth, amen, but I'm going to tell you, I, there was a time in my life where I thought, amen, every single person who came against me, or come against the word, not really against me, but come against the word of God, amen, when they said, well, the Bible says, and they tried to argue, you what the word of God said. I used to get so angry and I lashed back out to him and I done it. My wife would always tell me, honey, you don't have to do that. Hey, Amen. God will fight it for you. Now it took me years and years and years. I mean, I mean, those who've been following me for years, I hope and pray to God that you've seen a growth in me. Amen. And the past eight years or so of my ministry, amen, on here. I don't even know how long I've been. I've been doing Facebook for a long time, amen, but I've not always been preaching. I've only been preaching on Facebook since 2012, amen, but the first couple of years, all you seen was me right in my wrestling days and the, the worldly days, amen, but <clears throat> I just hope and pray ever since I've been preaching, you've seen a growth in me. Amen. That's what I, I, I seek God every day. I want to be better, God. I want I want to be better. I want to be closer to you. I want to I want to change every single day for the glory of God. I want to be more like you, Christ, and less like me. Amen. I want to crucify my flesh every day. Amen. God knows my heart. Amen. And I, I tell you, uh, there used to be a time I would fight everybody who come against the word of God. And then God began to start dealing with me. Amen. He started showing me this. Amen. His word is true. 